TV Book Club with Specsavers. Bleed for me is a psychological thriller. It tells the story of Sienna Hegarty, a young 14-year-old girl who is discovered sort of covered in blood one night uh, and traumatised. And meanwhile, you know, in her bedroom, less than a mile away, her father lies dead. He's a decorated detective and his throat has been cut. Everything points to Sienna's uh, guilt, but Joe O'Loughlin, the clinical psychologist, is the only person that uh, has his doubts and he's going to desperately try to find out the truth. Crime ripples through every community, and we've all experienced it, a crime close to us that ripples through a community and suddenly people are holding the hands of their child that little bit tighter. But in small villages, they have such a dramatic impact. And, and I wanted to investigate, you know, just what impact a murder would have on a very small village. Well, I really enjoyed this uh, top-class British thriller, I think, mm. um, with a great central character, this Joe Laughlin. Do you not think the guy, he's got Parkinson's disease, which makes him very vulnerable? Mm. Sort of an anti-hero, if you like, yeah. in many ways, you know. Did you enjoy it, Nigel? I did, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I, I read it in sort of one hit, really. Mm. And there are a couple of moments in it that make you go, Oh, wow, that's clever. I highly recommend it, Thriller. And it's a real genre thing to write thrillers like this. It requires a real I, I, expertise. Yeah, I don't think it's that easy, because no. a lot of thrillers are quite dull, aren't mm. they? Because they just skim the surface mm. of people's personalities. And, and I mean, and, and you've, your hero is a psychologist, so I think that's sort of more opportunity mm. for him to sort of dig a bit deeper into what's going on under the surface. and. Um, sort of different personalities. I actually did psychology at university and I have to say all the psychologists I met were a lot more disturbed than he was. <laughs> but, you know, he's one of the ones that got away. He's probably. the hero, yeah. He's the it's hero. superb plotting though, isn't it? I mean there's there's so many different strands mm. to the plot. There's obviously it starts with the murder as all good thrillers should, but there are a couple of other offshoots from that. that Lots there's of layers to it. Yeah. So many layers there's that there's a, a race trial going on, there's a suspected paedophile ring and at one point I thought, I don't know how all of this is actually gonna connect, tie yeah. Tie together, but somehow he manages to pull it together without it feeling clunky. There's a, it's very mm. organic, the script. Mm. It is, and you said very, very easy to read. Well, no, that's important, I think, because, yeah. you know, when, I, when I've done kind of two nights of Nietzsche, I want something like <laughs> yeah. this to kind of wash my brain a little yeah. bit. Just a stonking good read, yeah. really. The TV Book Club with Specsavers.